Alright, uh, so let's start by reviewing what we have done so far. We have been trying to figure out how to solve ODEs. And uh, uh, we started by deriving schemes that tries to approximate the only thing we don't know how to solve in OD, that is the time derivative. Right? And we were able to derive some pretty good schemes through Taylor series analysis. But we also discovered that not all of these good derivative schemes makes good ODE solvers. Some of them, although very accurate as a derivative scheme, makes terrible ODE solvers. So we started analyzing what goes into the error that comes out of an ODE solver. Okay, And we were able to derive an error scheme last time for solving, uh, for using forward order of solving a particular equation, right? Uh, we haven't done this for anything else yet. So we have seen that if we use forward order, the error, the error at step n is defined as the numerical solution. So this is numerical minus the analytical solution. So this is the, the let's say, the true solution, right? So if we uh, go through the derivation, we find out that the error at step n plus 1 is equal to accumulation of the error also at, uh, at, at the previous step, plus something relating to the differential equation. So delta t times we said it's a df over du times e at step n, then plus O delta T square. So this is the only term that relating to the accuracy of the derivative scheme, right? And this is a carryover from previous error. And this term we want to discuss today. Right, so so basically, if you have all these three terms to be small, you have a good ODE solver. 